Hi, maybe you're tired of playing video games. Or maybe you like video games, but there's just no good video games. But you want to play a board game. How can you play a board game? Well, you can play a board game on a video game, but usually they're not very good. But you can play a video game on a board game if you play Frag. Today we'll be going over and showing you all about this classic older game, Frag. It's actually a death match that you play on a map. So let's take a look at it and uh, learn all about it. Frag is a computer game without a, without a computer. It's a first person shooter experience on a game board. Frag is a perfect game to play when you have no brains left or you're just tired of thinking. It's best played with um, four to six people but you can play it with up to eight and I've done it and it's complete madness. Or you can just play it with two and just have somebody uh, carry two, two people at once. There, there's multiple maps for this game and, and I just took out a small map but you can double up the map, map and make it as big as you want. At times we've had this map up to anywhere from four feet by four um, and just running around and having quite the time with it. Uh, basically what you have, and ignore the cat, are your figures. Now I usually use my Vore figures and if I can just zoom in here a bit there we go we're just gonna bring in here a little bit we usually paint up different figures or we'll use an old space marine that you know from a prior set or something you know anything to differ differentiate who you are and give you a little bit of personality let's go over what happens in this game there's movement there's shooting there's picking up items there's dropping items um, there are objectives you can play capture the flag or you can just play deathmatch right here this is a perfect um, uh, table here just to play um, deathmatch um, what everything is based off of is your health at the beginning of the game and I drew on here just for the sake of drawing on here because uh, I have so many of these sheets printed anyways but you're given seven points and you split them up into the different areas as you can see I have three health two speed and two accuracy now your health will explain what how that's taken care of but your speed you take two dice and you roll and you that's how fast you'll be going so for this particular gentleman here he can move up to eight spaces now at the beginning of the game if you notice some of these uh, spots here these are what we call gadgets. These symbols are weapons. And you also have specials. So what happens is, but there's no spot for the, the specials. Also, this board is entirely numbered. Here we have one, there we have the number two, number three, four, five, and you can't see it, but over here in the corner is six. Now what happens is, when you die, you roll a six-sided die, and if I rolled one, I would spawn right at the one here. Um, it doesn't matter where anybody else is, they can be camping a spawn for all they want, and you may just pop right there, but you get to take your turn and possibly kill them. At the beginning of the game, you're giving, given one gadget, one weapon, and one special. Now these all have different types of abilities. Like this card here, it's called Game Hack Bonus Damage. Play at any time. Now you make sure that you don't show these cards to, to the uh, other player. Until the end of your, your next turn, all attacks by the player do double damage. So that's a really key card, so you could possibly kill somebody with one shot. Now with everybody running around, the object of the game is to um, get, uh, I believe you could play five frags. The game ends when a player scores three frags. Note that you cannot, under any circumstance, score a frag against yourself. 
In tournament, the winning player now has earned the right to increase one of his stats by one. So you can increase your abilities, and that's a really, really neat thing. The other thing about it is when you're playing with, we find that when we're playing with four players in deathmatch, it's three frags and you're out. Once you get killed three times, you're out of the game, and it's just elimination. So, um, or we'll play five frags, where whoever gets five frags first wins the game. Now let's talk about the different, um, the three di different out attributes. Health determines how well you resist damage, how much damage you can take, and how many weapons you can have in play. If your health is low, any attack is likely to kill you, which is very true. Though you can respawn and come back. If your health is high, you have a better chance of surviving an attack and fragging your attacker on the next turn. You are limited to a number of weapon cards in play equal to your health plus one. So, you can, if you have um, your health, if this person here who has three health can carry four weapons at a time which is kind of cool because some of these weapon cards are just nasty and they also have ammo like this is a tranquilizer gun right here let's uh, let me get that in there make sure that you can see that Tra tranquilizer pi pistol on the right here if you notice that's how many times it can be shot so it you can only use it six times and fire it off six times it sends a uh, for, for this one, fires a wild, wide burst of explosive gas needles. Add five to your accuracy. Now your accuracy is really important because your accuracy is how many dice you roll to attack. Okay? So when you're attacking, attacking goes as such. such. Person moves up and declares an attack. And let's say he's one, two, three, four, four spaces away. So what would happen here is you would count out the number of space. You never count your own space, you count the space ahead of you. So it's one, two, three, four to the target. Now this person here just happens to be using, um, first you use your accuracy. So you need to roll fours on your accuracy. So there's two dice. You roll the two dice, and we got two hits, okay? So now, what happens is, because this, we try to see what damage it does. Since it had two hits, uh, since it hit, um, we roll three dice for damage. So, he rolled five, seven, nine. Now, on defense, because this person here has three health, they get to roll three dice. Just remember we have nine. So it is 10, 13. So this would have, this hit would miss, okay? Because he would have to roll higher than a 13 to get one hit. So he would have to roll his three dice and roll higher than a 13. And if he rolled, say he had had a weapon that let him roll six dice okay he would have to do better than a 26 to do two uh two dice of damage so i'm going to read the example real quick so you get an idea of what's going on here the damage um uh, let's see so for instance if the target rolls an eight on defense any attack roll from eight up to 15 would do just one hit a roll of 16 through 23 would do two hits. A roll of 24 to 31 would do three hits and so forth and so on. Some weapons do extra damage. This damage counts even though the base damage is zero. Okay? You also have a chance to have armor in this game. There's certain armor which will add two to your health stat. So you can actually roll more dice. So it can be hard to hit yourself. Hit, and it could be pretty easy to hit somebody as well. Now, mount movement, we already talked about that you rolled the number uh, of movement per your... Um, um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just choking on my words. 
per your speed. Now as you're moving around, you can move, say you had, we, like we rolled earlier, this person had eight movement. He moved one, two, three, four, took a shot, then he can move another four. And there you go. You're allowed to have five cards in your hand. During your turn, you can have as many cards as you want, but you have to discard down to five. Every time you land on one of these spaces with this symbol, you get to draw that card from this gigantic deck. If you land on a weapon, you get to draw from this deck. And there are so many vari variances of weapons, which makes this game very exciting because you don't know what you're going to get. And there's a way to pull special cards. Now, if you frag somebody, say we killed this guy, he drops all of his equipment and any cards that he may have right underneath this blood spot. And if somebody came along, they get to add a health because of the blood spot and choose from any of the cards that he may have had in his hand. And those become that person. Persons. There's uh, plenty of different objectives. There's barrels. Uh, you can add special objectives or special spawn points. Um, there's mines that you can lay throughout. Uh, they can be hidden mines. Um, there's actually nuclear weapons that go off and cause area damage. The game's a lot of fun and it's pretty fast paced and plays I'd say in anywhere depending on how many people you have anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes. Once you play one game you kinda wanna keep on playing a couple other games to get revenge on, on your mates. I know that uh, when the kids and I play this uh, it gets kinda bloody because we're always looking to take each other out. You can actually uh, level up your characters if you're playing more than, than a couple of games. Uh, depending on who wins, uh, some of the weapons that you have uh, tend to add. You can, you can keep a weapon that we've always played that you roll over. You can drop ga gadgets. Um, let's see. Weapon counters. Yeah, weapon counters represent where you drop stuff. I think that pretty much covers all of it, but as you can see, it's a pretty fun game. It's a fast-paced game. Uh, there's a lot of different maps on this map here. There's a toxic side on the other side. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. It plays very quickly and becomes very, very, um, not tense, but... You know, once you get fragged by somebody, you go after them. It's kind of just like a, a video game, and it's very well put together. It's made by Steve Jackson, uh, another another great game by him. I'd like to see him do a, another edition of it. Uh, right now, it's out of print. I'd like to see him do a big box edition like uh, he did with the Ogre. That would be a, a lot of fun. But this is just a game that is a, a lot of fun to play, and... Uh, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I hope you you got a look at this, and if you if you really like it, go out and find it. And I uh, hope I explained doors here. Um, the blue doors you can go in and out. These you can only go in, which is the red with the uh, cone. You can go in, but you can't go out that door. You can go out this door, the green one, and go back in that door. Uh, you can go uh, out that way. So you can come in, can't go out that way. You can go out this way, but go back in this way. So, uh, but you can't go out that way. <laughs> it's kind of complicated, but once you see the door rules, you'll understand. I hope you enjoy the walkthrough. Um, any questions, just leave a comment below. Uh, anything you want to know about the game, just let me know, and uh, I'll explain to you. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you this week with more content.